Hello guys, my name is Pio Skatsis and today we're going to see how to publish our domain events uh, using Mediator's iNotification interface and the publish method without having our domain referencing Mediator. Now, we're not going to reinvent the wheel here. That practice is something that is commonly used, but if you don't know about it or you do, but you just uh, copied paste code without understanding how it works, especially the part that uses generics and the reflection, uh, we're going to explain everything here. Now let's go to our project and see what's in there. In my domain I have a person entity which has uh, an ID, a full name, an age and a list of domain events. And that list of domain events is there because I implemented the I has domain event interface as you can see. And I also have an abstract class with a boolean property is published. Now in my events I have a person updated event which inherits from the domain event and it has a person uh, an updated person parameter that gets initialized through the constructor. Pretty common stuff uh, for when it comes to domain event. Now let's go to our infrastructure. In here I have a persistence folder with an app DB context which implements the IDB context which lives in our application project. Since we are in our application project, let's see what else in there. I have a get people query and uh, its handler that returns all the people in the database. Let me also mention here that I have already populated the database with some data. We also have an update person command. Uh, that's a command that uh, has an ID, a full name and an age and in its handler we just update, it, we just update that person. I also have a domain event handlers folder but it's empty for now. And finally in our API I have a people controller with two endpoints, one for getting all uh, the people using uh, the get people query and uh, one for updating a person using the update person query. Now back to our domain. In uh, the person uh, class I have an update method that's and that's the way to update a person. And uh, each time we update a person we add to the domain events a person updated event and uh, we pass the reference of the class that we are as the parameter. Now we also need a way to publish that domain event using mediator. Uh, one way would be to have our person updated event to implement the i notification and then have a dedicated handler for that uh, person updated event but we do not want to to have our domain project to reference mediator. So what we're going to do, let's close this other project and let's go back to our domain, to our application project. And in here we will create a folder called models and we will put in there a domain event notification class. So domain event notification only if I could type notification okay and uh, that will be an abstract class of a t domain event and that class will actually implement the i notification so i notification and we need to have the constraint that the t domain event is actually a domain event. Let's import the namespace. Okay, and that class will also have a property and that will be a t domain event, that generic type. Let's call that domain event. Let's remove the setter, fix the typo and initialize that through the constructor. Now back to my DB context. As you can see before I save any changes, I take all the uh, events 
from the entities that are that have the domain events and are being tracked from the DB context. Now that uh, change tracker dot entries of I has domain event, uh, it will return all the entities that are being tracked uh, from the DB context. And uh, since we use the as no tracking extension method when we just want to query our data without uh, the need to modify them, uh, it will return all the entities that uh, are going to be modified, deleted or created. Now we need to publish uh, somehow all that event. So for start, let's inject mediator. So private read only i mediator mediator and initialize that through the constructor okay and now we want to publish that event after we have uh, saved our changes so let's go and iterate through them so for each event in event now in here if uh, we try to say await uh, mediator dot publish and pass that event and the cancellation token that uh, would actually compile but uh, since our domain events and the updated person the person updated event that we are using our example uh, does not implement the i notification that will crash in runtime so we need uh, for every type to create a domain event notification of that type since that uh, domain event notification implement the i notification now how we're going to do that let's create a private method that uh, takes an event and returns a domain event uh, notification of that event now let's call that uh, get notification event and we will actually return an i notification and we will take that event so domain event let's call that event first we need to take the type of the event so let's say var event type equals with event dot get type and now we will use the create instance method of activator so activator dot create instance because we need to create uh, that domain event notification class now the create instance method takes two arguments a constructor and the parameters to that constructor so it uh, can actually create that class so since our constructor is generic uh, the way to create a constructor is uh, in uh, the type of uh, that domain event notification so let's say type of domain event notification to call the make generic type method so make generic type and we need to pass the type of that uh, generic in uh, our case since uh, our only domain event is the person updated event that type will be the person updated event and uh, it will create a domain event notification of person updated event so it's here let's pass the type that we previously get so event type and the parameters it will actually be one and it will be the event itself okay let's uh, put that in variable so var notification and now let's cast that to an i notification so as i notification and then return that so return notification that uh, if we did our jobs right, will not be null, and if it is, let it crash to see what we did wrong. So now back uh, to our save async method. Let's uh, publish that event now. So let's 
take the notification from that uh, get notification event method so var notification equals with get notification event and let's pass the event and now let's publish that so await mediator dot publish that notification and let's pass the cancellation token as well and now let's uh, mark that event as up as published and now what's left to do is to create our domain event notification handler so let's go uh, to our domain event handlers and create that domain event notification handler okay let's fix the typo there okay and that will implement the i notification handler notification handler of domain event notification of the person uh, updated event and let's inject uh, a logger because all we want to do with this event is just to log that in the console so private read only i logger of domain logger of domain event notification handler logger and now in here let's get the event so the event will be that notification domain event now let's uh, log uh, a person updated dating and let's uh, pass the id i don't know so event dot uh, updated person dot id and let's return a completed task okay now everything should work fine so let's debug our project and put as always some breakpoints to see how all that works now i'll open postman let's get all the people okay we have uh, the first one is with an id of one so if we go back to our put in our body have already created that request so if we now hit send we'll get back a 200 okay response and as you can see in here the domain event has published and we get that uh, person updated and the id of one so let's put our first breakpoint in the save async method and uh, let's hit that endpoint again so we'll hit send all right now as you can see uh, all the events actually one event the person updated event and they is published property equals with false so now it will iterate to them and now we will get to that get notification event so let's put a breakpoint there and hit continue now we'll take the event type and as you can see is a person updated event and now uh, that the activator will create a new class let's see that now as you can see the notification is a domain event notification of person updated event and the domain event property has the person updated event and that person updated event has the updated person property with all the, the info about this person so it will return that notification okay and now the mediator will publish that notification and if we hit resume as you can see in the console we get another message with person updating and the id of one 
so that's how we can uh, publish uh, domain events with Mediator without having our domain referencing it. Uh, we can always create our own uh, domain event dispatcher and maybe that's something we will do in another video. But I think uh, that's enough for this one, so thank you for watching and have a nice one.